Tecalumet Trackline 400 technology is a class-leading range of four-wheel laser alignment gauges which provide accurate vehicle geometry readings quickly and easily every time. Trackline 400 is an all-stainless steel and aluminium construction with laser-cut components with a powder-coated finish. The complete system is lightweight while still both strong and durable. In this video, we'll show you how to take vehicle geometry measurements using the Trackline 400. We'll demonstrate vehicle and equipment setup, four-wheel alignment, front and rear wheel toe measurement, quick tracking measurement for front and rear axles, camber, caster and SAI measurement, and a special section on thrust line measurement. The following components make up the standard Trackline 400 package. Two laser gauges, two scaled gauges, a brake pedal applicator, a steering wheel clamp, two graduated stainless steel turning plates, an on-rack charging system with auto power saving mode, and a wall-mounted storage unit. Options available include a camber caster gauge, wheel stands, low friction radius turning plates, and a mobile trolley storage unit. We're now going to guide you through the simple process of using the Trackline 400. Before checking the vehicle geometry, we must carry out a few simple checks on the vehicle itself. The tyre pressures and tyre condition should be checked and an inspection of steering and suspension components for damage or excessive wear should be made. Obvious signs of irregular tyre wear may indicate worn or damaged components, which should be rectified before making adjustments. To equalise fluid pressure in cars with power assisted steering, run the engine and move the steering wheel slightly from side to side for a few seconds before locking the steering wheel in the straight ahead position. The vehicle geometry can be measured with the vehicle in one of three positions. With the vehicle on the ground and using the stainless steel turning discs provided in the standard equipment package. With the vehicle standing on a platform lift fitted with radius turning plates, or with the vehicle on wheel stands such as the Tecalumet geometry stands. Today we'll be working with a set of Tecalumet wheel stands fitted with ball bearing low friction radius plates. We're using a Tecalumet Asia two post lift to position the vehicle on the wheel stands. When the vehicle is in position, it's important to settle the suspension to normal ride height. Today we're carrying out a four-wheel alignment on a modern vehicle with both front and rear toe adjustment. Some vehicles' configurations don't allow rear geometry adjustments. On these vehicles, the thrust angle has to be measured and front wheels set up accordingly. This is demonstrated in the thrust line measurement section later in the video. We begin by measuring rear axle toe. This is crucial to ensure accurate readings for the complete vehicle. Set the gauges to fit snugly onto the wheel. The three sliding black buttons must rest against the wheel rim to ensure accurate measurement and the laser arms should point to the rear. Check the laser gauges level using the integral spirit level. Once that's done, set up the laser gauge on the opposite wheel in exactly the same way. Trackline 400 can be adjusted to fit most modern wheels from 12 to 23 inches, depending on tyre aspect ratio. Whether the car is on a lift or on the ground, the gauge is positioned as low as possible, enabling the lasers to see underneath spoilers, splitters and body styling kits on most vehicles. This means we can take measurements accurately without interrupting the laser beam. We now attach the measuring heads to the front wheels. These are generally referred to as flags. The calibrated scale should face the sensor on the back wheel. The unit is adjusted to rest on three points on the tyre and the flag adjusted on a lateral line to suit the wheel design. It's most important the setup is the same on both sides of the vehicle and that the vertical element runs through the centre of the wheel. Switch on the lasers using the on-off switch on each laser gauge. This will project beams both laterally and longitudinally around the vehicle. 
The maximum battery life between charges is around 8 hours use and the batteries are automatically charged when mounted on the storage frame. We're now set up to take our first measurement. Tow in exists when the sum of the tow measurement is a positive number, so the front of the wheels are pointing in. Tow out exists when the sum of the tow measurement is a negative number and the front of the wheels are pointing out. We'll start by measuring rear axle tow, taking readings from the tow scale on the laser gauges on both rear wheels. Using Trackline 400, tow is measured in millimetres. Always remember that when setting rear wheel tow, positive and negative values are reversed. In other words, a positive value equals tow out and a negative value equals tow in. We can now record the tow value for the axle and this can be compared against the manufacturer's reference data. Total tow for the axle is calculated as follows. When one number is positive and the other negative, subtract the smaller number from the larger number. If both values are either positive or negative, simply add them together for the total tow reading. To reset rear axle total tow in relation to the front axle, the readings on the flags should be symmetrical. Operators should refer to the manufacturer's reference data for specific adjustment instructions. We now move the laser gauges to the front wheels and the flags to the rear wheels. To release the laser gauge, compress the spring system and simply remove the gauge from the wheel. Because the system has been set up already for the rear wheels, mounting onto the front wheels couldn't be easier. Simply press up on the spring-loaded section, offer it up to the front wheel and make sure that all three black buttons are resting on the wheel rim. Don't forget to use the spirit level for accuracy. Measurements for the front axle are taken in the same way as those recorded for the rear axle. Set the front wheels with the sensors to read symmetrically on the back flags and then adjust to meet the manufacturer's recommended tow settings. Once the axle tow settings have been correctly set, the Trackline 400 system can be used to measure setback. Setback occurs when one wheel is slightly behind the other on the same axle. The central scale on the Trackline 400 gauge is used to measure setback in millimetres. Measure each reading where the lasers intersect on the calibrated scales. The wheel with a lower reading is the one that is set back. In this case, the left wheel is set back by 3 millimetres in relation to the right wheel. Methodology to reset setback varies from vehicle to vehicle. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions to adjust the setback. This part of the wheel alignment process is now complete. All the measurements have been taken and adjustments made. We now have a steering wheel in the straight ahead position with the four wheels correctly set. When measuring just front or rear axle toe, known as tracking, we only use the laser gauges. We do not require the flags. Mount the gauges on the axle as previously described. Lock the steering wheel in the straight ahead position and read off the values displayed on the tracking gauge toe scales. Calculate total toe for the axle by subtracting the smaller value from the larger value if one value is positive and the other negative. If both values are either positive or negative, then just add the values together. On the front axle, a positive number equates to toe in and negative equates to toe out. The value is expressed in millimetres. On the rear axle, the opposite is true. A positive number equates to toe out and negative equates to toe in. Again, the value is expressed in millimetres. Trackline 400 is supplied in standard specification without camber caster measurement. Owners of this entry-level model can purchase an optional digital camber caster gauge. 
Alternatively, Tacalamet can supply the new Trackaline 410, which includes an electronic digital radius wheel turning measurement and camber, caster and SAI measurement. Most importantly, the Trackline 410 includes a wireless communication facility, which allows operators to record vehicle geometry values both before and after adjustment and download them to a PC or laptop from where the results can be stored, archived or printed off using dedicated Tacalamet software. Position the laser gauges as previously described and correctly set the axle toe. Mount the optional magnetic camber cast gauge on the stainless steel faceplate as shown and switch on the gauge. The gauge runs through a calibration sequence for around 5 seconds. An instant live camber reading is displayed, the value shown is decimal degrees. Negative camber equates to a wheel that leans inwards at the top. A positive figure indicates the wheel is leaning out. To calculate caster, the wheel has to travel through a 20 degree arc. Fix the brake pedal applicator locking the foot brake in the depressed position. Once the camber figure is displayed, press the display mode button once. DT will be displayed on the LCD screen. With the wheels in the straight ahead position, press the zero button. Manually turn the wheel 10 degrees outwards. The digital radius turning gauge will automatically calculate the degrees of turn and this live value will be displayed on the LCD screen. Allow the wheel to rest at 10 degrees. Press the zero button and turn the wheel back through zero and onto a 10 degree negative value. Press the zero button and an instant caster value is displayed. Repeat the process on the opposite side. Our next measurement, steering axis inclination, was formerly known as KPI. Follow the same procedure as measuring the caster angle. Once the caster figure is displayed on screen, press the display mode button once and the SAI value is displayed on the LCD screen. If the value differs from the manufacturer's specification, component wear or damage may exist. Should a re-measurement be required, reset the gauge by pressing the calibrate button once. On some vehicles it may be necessary to reset the steering angle sensors using an EOBD tool. Here we're using the Tacalamet DE3222, which has a broad coverage of most vehicles on the market today. For extra flexibility and ease of use, the Trackline 410 model has an integrated digital radius turning disc and camber, caster and SAI measurement. The results from the steering geometry measurement are wirelessly communicated to a local PC where they can be saved. Measuring with the Trackline 410 is exactly the same as with the Trackline 400. Once the vehicle is prepared and the equipment set up, the current vehicle geometry settings can be saved by clicking on the Save Before icon for front and rear axles. When the adjustments have been made and the settings are within tolerance, then click on Save After for both axles. This information can be stored and printed to show your customer what adjustments were required and that the geometry has been correctly reset. Vehicle details such as registration number or VIN number can be entered along with the customer's name. Should you require a laser alignment system for light commercial vehicles and buses with wheels up to a maximum diameter of 890mm, then consider the Trackaline 400 HD. This model is used in exactly the same way as the standard Trackaline 400 but has a larger frame for dealing with bigger wheel diameters. More information on our products is available at www.tacalamet.co.uk.